bottom of the 10th tie game between the Marlins and the Braves. And we get things going with the first intentional walk of the inning. First and second, nobody out. And Heredia drives one to right to advance the lead runner. All good. Normal inning so far. Well, Mattingly didn't like that matchup. So here's an intentional walk number two to load the bases with one out still. Kavon Smith takes one low and then almost gets a hold of one for a homer. But unfortunately, it's foul. 1-1 one, one count, and boom, wild pitch. Guy from third runs home and is safe. Yay, Braves win, it's over, haha. -ha. But Mattingly says, no, no game is over without the boss's approval. So we go to review. They look at it from basically every angle, and uh, turns out that there was enough to overturn this. Riley's foot got stuck in the pitcher's Bass's foot and popped up before touching home. Now, if this is actually enough to overturn it, you tell me in the comments, but that's what they did. Maddenly sips on his water like, of course I knew this game isn't over. <laughs> the Braves then do a counter challenge to see if the pitcher obstructed the path, but that was futile. Still out. Now, pitcher's on deck, so Maddenly goes with a third intentional walk of the inning and tells you to take four seconds to like and sub if you haven't already. So here's Max Freed in every pitcher's dream spot, a chance to be Shohei Otani. Swings awkwardly at the first pitch and then takes three straight balls. Heredia's just ecstatic because this means that the pitcher has to throw a strike here basically. And while Freed should probably not swing here, he's not one to shy away from a challenge. Just look at his face. He gets a fastball in the zone and drives it for the walk-off hit, this time for real. The Braves take the series. Freed has a sigh of relief on his face, and Heredia still playing with his toy swords. I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown. Let me know in the comments uh, if there's anything I can improve on. Thank you guys.